Well, hey, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Your Next Cast. Today, I am out doing a little bit of experimenting. Um, the other day, I was out here fishing with this hula grub made by Gary Yamamoto. You can see some of that action there. It's got two uh, little appendages, tails on there that flap around. It's really good for bass, um, but recently, I've been nailing crappie with it. Definitely been pulling in some slabs. Unfortunately, two of the videos I did, it was a day like today where the sun was super bright and the GoPro just heated up too much. And so you could hear the sound, but you couldn't actually see the video. So I'm hoping today's clip is just gonna be a short example of showing you exactly how this lure works. Now, I'm using the wind to float into a spot that usually has some slabs in it. And so all I'm doing is throwing and kind of vertical jigging a little bit and reel it, reel up the slack and just kind of shake it just a little bit. And what I want to do is feel a little resistance. That, le that lets me know I'm on the bottom, maybe pulling some leaves, hitting some brush um, or something like that. But what I'm waiting for is to feel that full weight of a fish because a lot of times those slabs will come and they'll hit it, but they won't actually engulf the bait, especially one of this size. But when you feel that full weight, just pull up, pull straight up, and you got them. So I'm hoping that that happens here today. So sometimes I'll literally just hold it like this, open up the bail, and just let it drop all the way to the bottom. So as you can see, the line just goes straight down until it stops moving. And it's gonna be a little hard because the wind's blowing me, but what I'm looking for is get those line twists out. I can feel the bottom and I'm literally just bouncing it up and down. And I'm gonna try a few longer range casts because the good thing about this hula grub is that you can not only vertical jig it, but you can swim it as well. I mean, essentially I use it just like a single tail grub but I ran out of those. And so I started using this one because it's the same color, made by the same company. So it's essentially the same lure. It's just got a little bit of a different action, but you can definitely pick up some crappie with it. Got him. And that's what you gotta do. You gotta wait till you feel the weight of them. Come on, buddy. Hook got in there real good. Hula grub. Crappie. Get you up. up close view. It works for sure. Bumping into the pole. Let's get this guy back in the water. Well, that's all I really came out here to show today is that you can use this hula grub um, for crappie as well. I think I could pick up some bass with it too, but if you've not used this lure before, uh, it's a good substitute for the single tail grub. I think you should check it out, maybe on your next cast. We'll see you next time.